gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Welcome, folks. The Dow Industrials finished down 306, NASDAQ up 26, S&P's off 10. Gold, gold contract down $19.50, traded at 2,187 an ounce. We had silver down 17 cents, $24.83 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 27 cents, $80.80 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 13 ticks, trading 110.25, the 30-year up 28. At 119.28 and King Dollar. King Dollar up 451 ticks, trading 104.6, no, 104.458. Euro 108, yen 151, British pound 125. So we're going to go right over to the SPY and we're going to see what we did on this weekly basis because 53 million. Okay, so let's see what we have here because we're looking for this ABC structure up. And, okay, 334. <laughs> Look at this, folks. We're going to get it. It's, this is what the number is right now. 336.2. That's what we need on a weekly. And right now you get 333 plus 2. 336. So we'll get volume in here for about 15, 20 minutes. It looks to me like we're going to get it, though. Close call, though, man. And as one of uh, Tiger's Dan was saying earlier, I'm not quite sure why. Yesterday, we only needed 40 million in order to do it. We have 53, and it's still close. So there was some kind of adjustment inside of that, that uh, amount of volume. So... Hang on for the ride, folks. That's the bottom line. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off at 9 a.m. Great show, folks.